Welcome back to TechyCan. Today I will show you how to create a combo box. In fact, a form combo box. And how to create it, how to set its parameters, and how to practically use it. Combo box is basically a drop down list box which combines a text box and a list box. So, in this video, I will show you how to use a combo box in your dashboard report to control a graph. Okay, so let's get started. First, you need to create a combo box. First of all, for that, you need to go to the developer tab on the top. And here you can see the combo box. Okay. Click on it. Identify a location where you need to place this combo box. Okay, I'm gonna select it out over here. Now you can resize the combo box to your preferences. So we'll make it into shape, not big enough. Yeah. Little more smaller. Okay, so okay now we can reposition it. I'll try it. This looks nice. Okay, now, now my combo box have a is a drop down list having these two headers. So you need to create the headers over here. Hot end, cold end. See, these are actually basically a PM adherence report based on uh, two specific areas. Okay, and I have made uh, this uh, two headers here. Now I'm going to link these headers to this combo box. So how to do that? Right click on your combo box. Go to the option format control. Here it is showing the input range. So you select this and drag these two things. So that's your input range and the send link Cell link is basically where you need to display the result of your selection. The result of the selection is basically the position of the selection. So for example, if you want, if you select hot end, it will, it's, it's going to return one. And if you're going to select cold end, it's going to return you two. Okay. So my cell link uh, return value has to display over a 15 cell. Okay click here and click OK. Now if you use the drop down list if I select hot end it returns you 1 and if I select cold end it returns to you 2. It's basically the position. Okay. Now returning this uh, 1 and 2 is not going to benefit us. We need to actually return the actual values. So if I select hot end, it has to give me hot end. And if I select cold end, it has to give me cold end. So how to do that? It's very easy. You can use a basic if function to do this whole thing. Let's see how to do it. You put equal to if. Now you select the return value cell. You lock it. If it's equal to one, then return hot end otherwise again you say if function select your return cell value lock it if it's equal to 2 then return cold end bracket 2 times and finish so if you have hot end, you have the value returned hot end. And if you have selecting cold end, it returns the value cold end. Now you have to do is just drag it because you have already locked the cells. Now if you just drag it along, I will do it starting with the hot end. See, whatever it is there, it's all automatically coming over. So select this. Now you drag it here, two cells. Now you drag it down. So 
so you have all the values now so just format your cells to look a bit nicer format formatting again format okay and you bold it put it in orange color looks good okay so now if you select cold end what happens here you have the values from this cold end now you create a graph you can basically hide all these things in between because it doesn't need to be shown actually so you hide it and you hide here as well so your dashboard looks clean now okay only thing is to bring the graph in okay so you select the column your table then you go to insert put whatever graph you like to put for so just try put this graph in okay now remove this thing off okay now basically what happens you see okay just select hot end now we can see the graph is rotating the hot end now and if you select the cold end the graph is changed to cold end so this is how you can use a combo box to control a graph actually in your dashboard so it it's look uh, very nice and it will be very user friendly for the user you know to just uh, see the graph he requires rather than displaying each and every graph for the hot end and cold end as well so this drop down function helps you to just display the required graph so if the user wants the hot end graph he goes and clicks over here he has a hot end graph and if you require the cold end he selects the cold end he has the cold end graph so hope you like this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video bye